recording. Okay, lovely people. This is the group known as the Plains, and Wendy and I are here to comment on your first assignment involving line. And in addition to the experiments I asked you to do, these were four drawings of this egg beater. And the idea was to combine different kinds of lines, not necessarily rendering the egg beater in its full on accuracy, but using line in different ways. So I think for these that we're looking at of Christine's that you are starting to do some interesting things with your line. Um, you know, on this one in particular, the solid with the thinner line, this one with the collage. Um, I think the composition is, is a little uh, out of balance, but I, I appreciate the, the, the elements that you're using in the collage. And I would encourage you as well as others to be very experimental with your tools. Um, it seems a little bit limited with what kind of tool you're using here. That looks like a happy egg beater. <laughs> and the first one where I had asked, asked you all to just do a, a, a continuous line on the very first one, I thought that one had a great um, organic quality to it, very free. I thought this was highly successful. Yeah, I think because she allowed herself to be more free on this one without worrying too much what it looked like, it's more effective. Yeah. Okay, so that is Christine. And the second person we will look at is Jennifer uh, Harris. I appreciate on yours, Jennifer, the notation uh, on the bottom, just the continuous line, the idea of um, you know what it is you're drawing. It's it's always very helpful. I mean, these are this is a really extraordinary rendering of the egg beater here. I would say, yeah. This I appreciated for the um, cropping, so that you're not relying on the whole egg beater. You, your compositional sense on this one is really beautiful. I would say. You're, you're calling this bold and delicate, but I'm, I'm gonna say it's delicate and delicate. I would emphasize some of the bold more, um, but it's a, a wonderful composition and, and very well uh, drawn. And this is using the collage pieces. And um, I'm not sure what that thing is on the right, that long strip that goes up and down. What what that is, I happen to find it to be a beautiful mark, but it, it feels odd in this composition. Yeah, and I think she also could have benefited from using a lot more textures. Definitely. And different light weights. Yep, again, different weights, that's the key thing. Um, more bold, heavier, heavier mark, something a little bit um, even uh, messier but um, beautiful renderings of the actual egg beater and um, obviously, um, you know, really nicely composed. Yeah, that's beautiful too. Okay, next we'll be looking at Megan, Megan Haskell. So your documentation is a little dark and um, kind of, taking away from the quality of these. Oh, actually I turned up my light on my computer and that helped a little bit, but um, uh, yeah, so I think more so it was my computer. These all feel very much like humans. Yeah, this one. It's kind of chubby. Beautiful, beautiful line here. Yeah, yeah so this, these- all, This is interesting. Oh, sorry, yeah, I was just gonna say the, the dots are interesting. We haven't seen that so far, really. And and also such, um, I would say such a commitment to the to the drawing of this. It feels very um, thoughtfully done. And I think it's a lovely combination of the dots and the little squares. And it's a nice contrast to something like this. So it does feel like you're using the line in um, different ways. And this is just such a simple gestural drawing, this too. The time commitment is um, very evident. Nice perspective. Yeah, very nice. And this one, um, this one I think feels 
wildly different. So I, I can't wait to look at your, um, the samples that you did just playing around with line because I love seeing some of these that we didn't see in um, the three previous, you know, just the way you're drawing different types of line um, in that collage, I think is really great. Okay, and um, last but not least in the group of the planes, we have Alex. Alex is right up top. So this is one continuous line, which it, it kind of doesn't feel like it is just one continuous line. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say that. It doesn't really look like a continuous line. <laughs> it's a fascinating object that you've drawn. I'm, I'm yeah. very curious about your actual egg beater you're looking at. This is two contrasting lines. Again, I would say these aren't really that contrasting. Push the idea of contrast. One is dotted and one is, is solid, but, but they also have the same weight. So when contrasting, really think about like, what could I use? Like what other tool might I use to really emphasize the idea of contrast? Yeah, I wouldn't even argue that this is essentially the same line. It's just one is dashed and the other one isn't. Yeah. Whereas this one, now we're feeling um, a, a much stronger contrast. Um, I would say just also be thoughtful of your composition. You don't have to attach that handle literally where it's attached in reality. You know, put that in the composition and, and don't be afraid to abstract because it feels weird just hanging outside of that frame. Same with this one, I would say don't, um, don't feel the need to have the, that stuff all go off the, the picture plane. And once again, I'd love to see more types of line in here. If you're relying on two types. Yeah, you, you need more exper experimentation, different types of tools. You know, draw with a sponge, draw with a piece of saran wrap that you wad up, draw with bubble wrap. Um, take a stick and dip it in ink, uh, take a crayon and just like crush it on the page. So uh, I would encourage more experimentation with both tools and your lines. And that is the last of the um, planes. So thank you everyone for your contribution and please be sure that you have offered feedback in the discussion thread for your group.